up guys welcome back appreciate you tuning in um, we got this thing ready I'm going to rocket raceway park this weekend we're gonna race for the arm series uh, they got the Brian Myers Memorial ninth annual pays nine thousand to win 500 to start so it's gonna be a big race I've been a part of this race for the last nine years and I wouldn't miss it for the world um, it means a lot to me. Um, I knew Brian Mize a little bit um, through racing when I first started, um, but it's a great tribute and, and it helps a lot of people. So um, I wouldn't miss it for the world and, and glad that um, we can go this thing and hopefully we do well. So stick around, um, follow us through the night. I've been feeling under the weather a little bit this week and haven't done a lot of recording, so. <clears throat> but anyway, it's been battling a, um, a, I think it's a, a kidney stone or something. So, anyways, hopefully we can make it through the weekend and um, and put on a good show. So, uh, stick around and, and and make sure you like, subscribe this channel. We have a tremendous amount of people uh, watching these videos, uh, but they're not subscribed. So, if you do me a huge favor. Just uh, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and follow along, turn the notifications on so you can always get notifications uh, when these videos are posted. So that helps us out tremendously. So anyways, we're gonna get this thing ready and, and get it loaded up and and uh, see how we do. So stick around. spot from Roy City, Texas in the number 47 Bills Built Race Cars. It's going to be Black Jack Sarton. Outside in car number 65 out of Hayesville, Kansas. Won the main event at the Salina High Bank Speedway last month. And the number 65 scored his first ever USMTS win right here at the Rocket Raceway Park. That'll be Tyler Davis at the Bills Built Race Cars, number 65. Inside of road number four, starting seventh, that'll be Mitchell Clement. Finished third in the main event on Thursday night at Hunt County. Michael Risky in the two-hour of Cattle Mills, Lance Plain, Adam Hinton in the number 29, and James McCurry in 13J. And Tanner Mullins out like a rocket here for the first lap of this one. As right now riding in second there at 81, Michael Grubbs currently riding in second. They come across the line, DJ Shedd, it'll be a third, Tyler Davis in fourth, and Jack Sarton, a winner here on the 2023 season right now, riding in fifth as he's side-by-side -side for fourth and fifth there with Tyler Davis. Got a good battle for second and third between Michael Grubbs and DJ Shannon as well. But to no surprise, Zach Z Tanner Mullins in the 0-2 caught up with him before we started the racing action here tonight. You can catch that interview on Race on Texas' uh, uh, app, I should say, or the website there. He's out front sitting pretty. Good race here for second as Grubbs now gets disposed of by the number 32 of DJ Shannon. Did come all the way from Merson, California to come home with Bronze Mate again tonight. But he is certainly working the wheel and he's working it well. Here comes the Hayesville, Kansas race under that Bills Built race cars number 65 with Tyler Davis. 
Davis working the hub and working it well in car number 65. And around goes the number 32 is Shannon. The 47 kept it strong and rolling. He may end up getting his spot back because he will not get charged with this caution of Sarton. And that was impressive. That was. Anytime you can do a 360 whirly dirly, whatever you want to call it there, whirly birdie. He, uh, he was able to keep it going there, but uh, like you said, wasn't charged with the cautions. That'll go to the 82 uh, there. Ten positions as Shannon at Mercy, California had a good run going there. Was trying to grab second away from Grubbs, who's having a really stellar effort here in that number 81G, the Plano, Texas racer. As that'll move up against the Kansas driver in car number 65. That Gerber Collision and Glass, BSB Manufacturing, Diva Dog Spa, FOE Racing, the Glassman TDS Suspension. Number 65 of the 33-year-old Tyler Davis, who scored his first ever USMTS win, as I mentioned earlier, right here at Rocket. We'll see what he's got as we go back to the green. He'll go to second momentarily, and he'll have it into turn number one. Good restart for the 65 of Tyler Davis. Off the exit. They're one by one by two wide down the back straight away for third. Clement had a hot rod of that Vanderbilt racing chassis and got a little slipped up there in three and four. I'll tell you what, track's so tricky there in three and four tonight. Yeah, that Jason Webb owned Webb Excavation number 15J. Mitchell's been giving that a ride around. Got him a win over at RPM Speedway, I believe it was, uh, for the opening night. He got to run that race car. He currently rides in fifth. Jack Sarton's moved his way up into the third position. Speaking of Sarton, he finished fourth last year at the Brian Mize eighth annual memorial race. So good to see him back out here with us. But up front, it's all Tanner Mullins and Tyler Davis, your top two. As you got a good battle back here for third, fourth, and fifth, though, between Sarton, Grubbs, and Clement. And Lance Plants on the outside looking in of your top five. Seven wins on the season here for the 30-year-old racer out of Wichita, Kansas, and that Mullins-powered Mullins chassis. Three-time USMTS winner here in 2023, former Grant Younghands Memorial winner and former USMTS Rookie of the Year will take the checkered flag in the form of the Wichita, Kansas racer Tanner Mullins in the 0-2. He drives a sand line, iron and metal mill, Hamilton Racing, Bergman, tax strength, the roofing and siding, Fuquay, trucking, fast shaft, Swift Springs, number 0-2, your winner is going to be Tanner Mullins. Pole. It'll be car number four R of Jared Russell out of Wagner, Oklahoma. And the Mullins Racing Chassis number four R. Outside of the front row. And Dave Motorsports B Main number one. It'll be Chase Allen out of Midlothian, Texas in the Bang Energy. Uh, IRP race car OS1 number 130. Out of Pecola, Oklahoma, piloting the MB Custom Race Cars number eight. That'll be Jeremy Vaughn. The double deuce is going to be Casey Huggins. Inside of row number two, it'll look three, sorry. The 18J is going to be Jake Huckabee from Dexter, Canada. Lance Plant out of Canton, Texas in the number 29X. Danny Bill, Colton Eck, Casey Fowler, Colby O'Neill, Chase Hatton, Mark Smith, James McCurry, Cole Dennis, DJ Shannon, Nathan Smith, and Kenny Gaddis. Kenny Gaddis will be one to watch from the tail as well as DJ Shannon. A lot of very good race cars here vying for the top four transfer spots to make up tonight's 26 car main event underway down the front straightaway into one going 12 laps at, or 15 laps of distance here this will be an outstanding main event on any other dirt track Saturday night feature as in the turn number three it's going to be Jared Russell who's on the bottom side of the racetrack and he'll jump out front to the race lead he'll exit for it he'll lead lap number one in the Mullins race cars number four R. Chase Allen, who had a really good run earlier, earning his spot on the front row of this beat main event here for the Arm Series. will sit second down the back straight away again. The battle for the transfer spot heating up in the turn number three. They're going to be side by side for the fourth and final transfer spot through three and four. Danny Bill has it. Huggins and Plant on it. Off the fourth. Jeremy Vaughn just got shuffled. Back to fifth. Chase in a turn number one. Now Jared Russell, Chase Allen, Casey Huggins, Danny Bill holds your top four transfer spots. Jeremy Vaughn, Lance Plant, Jay Cuckabee on the outside looking in. This one heating up very quickly here, 15 laps of distance. And again, we got one that got a little bit too high over here in three and four. He's going to pull it back on the track and lose several positions. Give me the double deuce of Casey Huggins, definitely from the in-house of the outhouse. Good race here nonetheless for the top spot, but all eyes on the transfer. They're door-to-door -door for it. Jake Huckabee, who nearly won his first ever USRE modified main event here at Rocket earlier this season, got disposed of on the last lap. And in the turn number one, Jeremy Vaughn. Up on the outside of the racetrack, driving that Mars race car number eight, the Bacola, Oklahoma driver. That's the 18J. Texarkana, Arkansas, Jake Huggaby rolling the racetrack on the hub and rolling it well. Trying to muster it up, but Jeremy Vaughn in that drop for JRT trucking. 
Number eight car still rolling the outside. Chase has the final transfer spot, but Huckabee keeps giving him hell around the hub in 18J. Yeah, Huckabee very impressive here throughout the 23 season, as you said. Got disposed of by Colby Smith that night as he almost picked up his uh, USRA modified win right here at Rocket Raceway Park. Couldn't quite do it, but right now he's battling it out side by side with the aid of Jeremy Vaughn. As again, that's your transfer spot. All eyes kind of on that fourth and fifth position. He's got it now going down the backstretch, though. He'll set his side on Bill in the five, try to get a little comfort there with maybe taking away another spot here. All the while, the 130 of the Midlow P and Texas racer Chase Allen driving that IRP race car OS1. He jumps out front of the 130 to the race lead. Chase Allen rolling the outside of the speedway with reckless abandon. No storm to the top spot last time by. Uh, Russell was a little bit quicker, but that momentum continues to stay wound up top. Danny Bill in third. He has a transfer spot locked in right now. But this battle for the transfer spot is certainly a good one. It's Huckabee. It's the aid of Jeremy. Jeremy Vaughn going at it. I race with Jeremy Vaughn a lot. No one cares again except for me. <laughs> <laughs> with him on I racing, I beat him more often times than not. When he goes back and hears this, he's going to have a problem with me. I love you, Jeremy. He's having a good run here tonight. He'll retake the fourth and final transfer spot down the back straightaway. Jeremy Vaughn. The McCullough, Oklahoma driver races typically week in and week out of the Tri-State Speedway. Off of turn number four, it's hitting up. Jake Huckabee takes it back once more from the end of Jeremy Vaughn. Yeah, very impressive. Casey Fowler not going to make this AMA tonight. Zach, he's pulled to the infield. Tough break for the 64. He's always fast out here with us as well, but has to uh, pull it to the infield here. But again, Chase Allen's got this thing wound up, leading the way over Jared Russell, Danny Bill, and Jake Huckabee right now in your transfer spots. But don't look now. Jeremy Vaughn in the eight. He's staying right there with Huckabee. If there's any slip up by the 18 or by uh, the Danny Bill in the 5X, man, he's right there to pounce. But we are 11 laps down, only Three to go now, excuse me, 12 laps down as this thing is winding up here, Zach. As soon as you, you can give up so much, but you can also gain so much on the top. There's a thin line up there between love and hate right now. And here comes Jeremy Vaughn on the outside of the exit of corner number two. He's got the 18J of Jake Huckman in the crosshairs, although rolling a completely different line. Bobble just a little bit, but again, you can make up so much time and he'll storm to the outside. And he'll take the final transfer spot back once more. And Hillamari's being brewed here. Only two laps to go. The white flag coming out for Chase Allen off of turn number four. And all eyes on the fourth and final transfer spot as they roll through three and four. It's going to be Huckabee having it on the bottom, but storming back to the outside. The eight of Jeremy Vaughn once more in turn number one. Going haymakers at each other these last couple laps is Jake Huckabee and Jeremy Vaughn. They'll be side by side down the back stretch. They're going to battle into three and four. We'll see who's going to come out with a Danny Bill right there in front of me. Huckabee's going to slide up a little bit. I don't know if he's going to have enough momentum. It's going to go to Jeremy Vaughn in the eight. Impressive run as he just edges out Jake Huckabee for the final transfer spot. The 5X of Danny Bill will finish third. The 4R of Jared Russell in second, but the 130 of Chase Allen runs off with it. Go for it, bud. Crawl up in there. Get on in. You might be YouTube famous tomorrow. Can you even reach the pedals? You can't even reach the pedals. Look at that. <laughs> you can reach the pedals? <laughs> Just wanted to do a little recap from this past weekend. It's uh, Monday night. Hope everybody enjoyed their Labor Day weekend. Um, we got this thing washed up and ready to go again. Just got to do some maintenance, change oil, normal routine stuff. Um, but we had a great time at the Brian Myers Memorial. Uh, 61 modified showed up. We didn't draw the best. Um, I think we drew again, like I don't even remember, a 36, and they redrew a 51 or something like that. Um, so I put in a uh, start ninth in the heat race. End up uh, finishing sixth, passed a few people. We rolled off, as you can see in the video, uh, we rolled off, I believe it was sixth in the heat in the B main, the first B main, there were three B mains. And there was 15 to 18 cars in each B main. Um, 
<clears throat> we rolled off six. We were we were rolling fifth, top four, transferred the to the A, and we were rolling around there pretty good around the top and uh, trying to trying to find a good line and and make up some time on on third place and fourth place, and we were all right there together. Um, it was 15 laps for a for a B main. So we were rolling pretty good. We had pretty good pace and try to find a different line there at the end because I wouldn't really really wouldn't catch them, wouldn't making up any time, just just you know, just five or six car lengths uh, behind them and just maintaining them. I'm like, I gotta do something different. Um you can't just ride here. So we start running the middle, start running the bottom, start some different lines as you as you can see there in the in the video. Um, and we fell back to eighth. So um I wasn't gonna do no good just riding around fifth, sixth spot. Can't pass anybody. Um, so we tried to try to find a different line and maybe a little faster and we didn't find it. And um, we uh, finished eighth. So we didn't make the show. Um, we had a good time. We had a really had a good time. My wife was there, my daughter, um, my son-in-law, or not my son-in-law, my uh, brother-in-law, uh, his kiddos, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, weather was pretty good. So all in all, we didn't tear anything up. Um, just wish we'd have made the feature. But anyways, we don't know what the plan is now. We're gonna service the car and get ready. Um, we've raced a couple weekends in a row now. So um, still waiting for it to cool off. It's supposed to be 105, 100, 607 degrees all this week. So hopefully in the next couple weeks it'll cool off some. We can be more uh, more excited about going racing in the cooler weather. So anyways, we'll keep everybody updated what we're gonna do. Um, we got a good hot rod. Driver's getting better. So anyways, guys, appreciate you uh, watching this video. Um, just don't don't forget to subscribe. It helps out tremendously. So, anyways, uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.